What's up guys, JV2017 here, and today we are continuing my Mod Spotlight series where we look at the newest, most popular mods that are available on Bethesda.net now for PC and coming soon to consoles. This time we're looking at one of the most popular mods available so far called Campsite by Fading Signal. This mod adds craftable tents and sleeping bags along with fires, cooking pots, and other decorations to create your own custom campsite anywhere in the wasteland. That's right, you can set down a campsite anywhere as long as you've crafted the items, and then of course you can pick them back up and move along your way in the wasteland, just like you would in real life. And what I love so much about this mod is the practical application. It makes so much sense in this world to create what is essentially a miniature mobile version of a settlement, pick it back up, and move on your way. A lot of these new items were crafted from scratch, and they look like they really belong in the game with some really beautiful HD textures. Fading Signal did a really good job. So let's go ahead and take a look at everything available in this mod. In order to unlock all of these crafting options and start your camping experience, you're going to want to head back to Sanctuary and go to the old root cellar, which is behind the house that I'm showing here on screen. Once you're inside, you're going to see the Adventures in Camping book. This is the book that you need, again, to unlock all the different colors options and crafting options for all the new items introduced in this DLC. Once you've got this book in your inventory, you'll need to head to any chemistry station, and this is the station where you'll have to craft all of your camping gear. As you can tell, it's got its own category at the chemistry station and you can see there's a ton of different options I'd say there's probably 15 to 20 new items but each item has different color options and so there's a ton of them and the materials pretty much are very easy to find you know you've got cloth leather and steel are the primary materials that you'll need in order to build all of these items but of course you've got some oil for the fire kit you know some wood and stuff that makes sense but it's not too too resource intensive to build all of these items you can also see the weight for some of these items the pole tents do get a little bit heavy but the sleeping bags are only three pounds so it's really manageable if you're trying to go light you can absolutely do that with all of these items what's also really cool is that all of these new items are fully functional within the workshop system so if you want to go to your settlement and build some of these items instead of just building them anywhere you can go under their respective places and find these new items for example here's the makeshift tent underneath furniture and then beds it makes sense that you know these tents would be under here also you'll find a new chair for example you'll find some new lights at the lantern and the campfire and so it just makes sense if you want to find something and build it in a settlement you'll be able to find it this way as well now we're going to take a look at the process of building your own campsite and we're going to walk through step by step and show off some of the key items so if you want to find all of the camping kit items that you created you will find them under inventory and miscellaneous they'll all have this prefix of camping kit in front of the phrase for the item so it's really nice to find all these things nice and organized within your inventory so Let's go ahead and look at some of the bed types. First off, we have pull tents, which are pretty much what you would expect. It's the standard kind of bed. And the way you actually place items down, this works for all of the items, not just beds, is you go to it in your inventory and click drop. So I'm gonna click the drop button right now and I just dropped it and that placed it in the world. So it's very easy and convenient just like that. And within that, you can actually just go up to any of these items and click use or activate, whichever button that is for you. And that'll kind of bring up this contextual menu where you'll have a ton of options depending on whatever item you have. So you can sleep in the bed, obviously, because it's a bed. You can pick it up if you want to reposition it. You can attach a lantern, which is something I'll show in just a second. You can move it or you can rotate it. So it's kind of floating off the ground for me, which is a little awkward. I'm going to move the object down a few notches so you can kind of move things just a smidge to get them exactly where you want to get them. So now that I'm done, it seems like it's more on the ground and not floating nearly as much. This is how I want it. And so you can kind of do and uh, mess around with certain items like that. So the different pole tents available, this is the standard one. Then you've got blue, green camo, desert camo, red and or green and then red. So you've got a nice uh, amount of options. there. I think there's black as well, maybe a gray. There's a tons of different options like that. And also going to show off the sleeping bags right now. There are some more pole tents. We'll get to that. But here are all the different color sleeping bags. And the creator made his own, you know, HD textures and meshes, not only for these uh, tents and these tent poles right here, but also for these sleeping bags. This is the new sleeping bag. This will replace the default texture. I think this uh, kind of yellowish kind of pale one is the default. So if you see any sleeping bags, they should look like this now if you have this mod installed. And also got these nice... Uh, Vault Boy and Nuka Cola versions as well with zippers. You see these zippers? They're very, very cool. So, got all those color options for sleeping bags. Those work in a very similar fashion. Now, we're going to look at the rest of these sleeping options. So, we've got the makeshift tent. 
which is kind of like a sleeping bag that's completely floating in the air, but it's like a sleeping bag attached to a branch with this uh, kind of tarp draped over it, which is exactly what you would think a makeshift tent would look like. So let's just go ahead and see how this works out. So there, that's pretty much enough for me right now. If I wanted to make it perfect, then I'd probably move it down a little bit more. But you get the gist. This is what you're able to just go out and make in the world and drop absolutely anywhere. And again, if I want to just pick up all my stuff and leave, I just click use, pick up, boom. It's added to my uh, inventory, and then I can move on and place this stuff elsewhere. Also, I forgot there is the other option for your tent poles, and that is to place a two bed option. So I'm going to place a black two bed tent pole here. And what's cool about this is if you have a companion rolling with you, I have Ada, I told her to stay over there and be, you know, uh, civilized and safe over there. But if I had Kate, for example, or Preston or whoever, I could place down one of these dual beds and then use one for myself and use one for the companion. Or if I want to just place this in my settlement, that counts as two beds. And it'll count also on the workshop menu as a legitimate bet. So this is not just, you know, eye candy. This is a completely functional mod with all of these, um, with all of these tent options. And what's also really cool with these tents is you can add a lantern attach a lantern if you decided to create one at the chemistry workbench you can attach a lantern and it gives you a little bit of light so let's go ahead and advance to a later hour and show you guys exactly what that looks like there we go that's kind of dawn dusk looking so yeah as you can tell it provides some nice light and of course i would move that down if i were serious about my campsite but i'm just showing you guys right now it's pretty cool that you can do this as well and of course, with a camping mod, you can create a campfire, obviously. If you couldn't do that, then I'd be sorely disappointed. But of course you can with the fire kit after you create it at the chemistry workbench. This is what it looks like. It's beautiful. It's got that nice kind of uh, sound effect. Once you place it down, you hear some nice fire and it glows. It looks really, really good. I'm really happy with the way that uh, Fading Signal was able to create this. And the campfire offers a few additional features. So if you activate it, you can place a cooking pot down. So if you create a cooking pot at the chemistry workbench, you can place that down. It does require a fire. And if you want to cook literally anything that you would at a normal cooking station, you can do it right here. And you get this nice animation of, you know, stirring the <laughs> stirring the spoon in the background. So again, cook anything here that you want to. That's really cool. Some useful things to know also are that the fire right here, these campfires last for four in-game hours. And once they go out after four in-game hours, you can actually relight the fire. You don't have to keep bringing... Um, fire kits but if you decide to pick it up prematurely I believe it disappears from your inventory at least in my experience that's what has happened so you have to have the campfire again for the cooking pot in order to work pretty cool feature there and within the campfire you can also relax there's some idle animations that the uh, fading signal has created for us so you can sit down at the campfire you can warm your hands you can kneel down and warm your hands I'm just going to scroll into third person so you guys can actually see what this looks like so I'm going to kneel down and warm my hands so this is kind of cool if you want to uh just see your character do something cool like this you can unhinge the camera using console uh commands if you're on pc and kind of get a good look get some nice screenshots but what's also cool is npcs if they're nearby or your companions will come up and just sit around this campfire so added that functionality in there which is pretty cool Let's say you wanted to bring dog meat along in your adventures. Fortunately, the modder has also created dog beds, which is a really cool kind of feature here. So if I want to drop one of these just like normal, it's kind of glitched through the ground. So let's go ahead and move this up out of the ground so you can actually see what's going on. So this comes in a lot of the same colors that a lot of the other items do. And if you wait for a while, if you wait long enough, dog meat will actually use the dog bed and sleep on it. it. Uses one of the animations that the game didn't actually keep, and it's just dog meat sleeping, which is really cool. And they also added this functionality where you can pet dog meat, and it won't work right now because dog meat's not using the dog bed. But it's pretty cool that they were able to add this as well. The last few items that are available in this mod are a collection of an assortment of different colors of cloth walls. So if you just kind of want to situate these around your tent for, you know, temporary protection purposes, then you can do that. Again, lots of different colors. You can activate these things and move them around, do different certain things with them. And then also a normal folding chair. So this is pretty much a standard folding chair. Can sit down, wait on it, do whatever else I want if I want to put that around my campfire. And then, of course, the normal lantern. Of course, you saw me hang it on my... Uh, tent pole over there, but you can also just place them on the ground and around your campsite. 
The final thing to show off with this mod is perhaps one of the coolest things involved with it, and that's the GPS beacon. So you can drop this beacon down at your campsite somewhere out in the world, and you'll see campsite map marker there. And so this is a map marker that allows you to track where your campsite is. So for example, let's say you're using this on survival mode. If you wanted to do that in order to, you know, add some, make it a little bit easier, you know, since you can place your own beds really relatively anywhere. Now I've got this as a map marker and I know where it'll be. It'll be underneath the miscellaneous tab and right there. So I can click R to show on map and it'll show me exactly where my campsite is. If I want to leave one campsite and only use one throughout the game and use a GPS beacon that I can track it, which is very, very useful, very practical. And it just makes sense with, you know, this mod as a whole. And so you can see kind of my makeshift little uh, place here. Let me just go ahead and pick it up just to show you guys exactly, you know, what that would look like. So I'm done with my campsite. I've relaxed. I've done everything. Let's go ahead and extinguish that fire. Go ahead and pick up my radio beacon pick up my pole tent pick up my chair unfortunately the uh, cloth walls seem to be glitching I'm not sure if that's just the current version but hopefully the creator sees this video but they seem to be glitching in general as you saw on the those other ones but you just saw me pick up my campsite and get ready to move on so it's just as easy as that place everything down use it how you want and then move on and you're good to go and this is exactly what I would want from a camping mod I'd like to hear from you guys. After watching this video, what are your thoughts on the campsite mod? Is this something you would use? Are you going to go ahead and download this or add it to your library on consoles and download it when it does come to consoles? Again, I'm just super impressed with how immersive this mod is. With a little bit of tweaking, it could feel like it's exactly part of the game and it was just there in the first place. So let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section below. All right, guys, today I shared the campsite mod for Fallout 4. And next time we will cover more Fallout on my channel. So stay tuned for Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. If you learned something new or enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for Far Harbor DLC, my survival mode playthrough, Bethesda.net mods, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.